I'm just going to quickly run through some of the ways that you could call for help when you're out on the water with the idea of taking the search part out of search and rescue. So probably one of the best ways of calling for help when you're out of the water is to use your VHF radio, sending a digital signal and sending a, a voice mayday message. Another way of calling for help when you're out in the water is either to use an EPIRB or a PLB. Uh, these both work on a satellite system um, and pretty much anywhere in the world these will work. They work the same, pretty much the same way. The only difference is really is in terms of the battery life. Um, the EPIRB is slightly longer, it will typically be um, on a vessel. Um, PLB, as the name would suggest, is kept on the person and will have a shorter battery life. These are just two different models of um, a personal locator beacon. These uh, more typically use a system like AIS and that means that when it's activated, and usually it will be activated um, automatically because you'll have it inside your life jacket somewhere and when your life jacket inflates because you've unfortunately fallen in the water, it will set off the signal. And that signal will uh, appear on, um, on chart plotters of nearby vessels, assume they've got AS built into their chart plotter system and it will just show up on that um, as a flashing signal and they'll know what it is they're looking at. So another way that uh, you can call for help in the, the situation demands it is what we call a SAR, a search and rescue transponder, or actually called a search and rescue transmitter these days. Um, and these work on a radar system, um, but also the more modern ones are equipped with AIS, automatic identification system. So actually they'd show up on a, a, another vessel's um, chart plotter if it's linked with an AIS system. Of course, another way of calling for help is, is with the use of a mobile phone. And that's fine, assuming your mobile phone hasn't got wet and assuming that you're within mobile phone range. One of the really good things you can do with a mobile phone is to download the RYA Safe Tracks app. And what that will enable you to do is to upload your passage plan. You can upload your um, expected time of arrival at your destination. And if you do overrun, what the app will do is notify your shore-based contacts that you have not arrived. Um, and will enable them to call the rescue authorities.